Solidarity and mission has been among the best practices of the Claritian missionaries in Cameroon. Jesus left us a mandate to go out and proclaim the good news. And that is why everybody has to cooperate, work together, so that the good news can spread to the whole world. Since our arrival in 1970 in the French-speaking side of Cameroon and in 1986 in the English-speaking side. We Declaration Missionaries, we have a charism to spread the good news through all means possible. Claritian missionaries have been serving relentlessly in the peripheries, passing on the flame to set hearts ablaze with the fire of God's love. The integral growth and well-being of the human person have always been the center of our missionary action. Propelled by Christ's love, we seek to make him known, loved, and served by all. To come right at the bottom of the community, see what is their problem, and solve it directly. I am deeply impressed about their effort. Claritians have always had a preferential option for the poor. That is why our missionary activity is mainly in the peripheries. We work hard to transform lives, even in dry areas, by providing boreholes so that people can have good water sources. When we came into this village, we had a serious problem of water. We never had water. So God has listened to our cries and has sent this water at a time when the community needed this water so much. We work hard to bring physical light to the people and above all, to set their hearts ablaze with the light of faith. This will bring them a new life and a new generation of, of uh, new beginning for them in studying at school, getting better educations, being able to have the, the growth in the community that is so needed. Providing clean water wells powered by solar energy brings the light of hope to the people. At first, we used to go to very far distances to get water, but now they have made it very easy for us. Children can get water, old parents, grandparents, parents, fathers, men, all of them will find it easy to get water. Clean water is life, health, food, leisure, energy, and many more. We have the beautiful opportunity today to inaugurate this place when we just got fresh water for this beautiful village. We do this through the spiritual and pastoral care to the faithful in the parishes involving catechesis, celebration of the sacraments, visiting the sick and the old, offering a listening ear and a compassionate heart to the afflicted and serving as a sign of hope to those affected by natural or socio-political crisis. Light is life. That is why we accompany the spiritual light of faith with concrete actions that contribute to raising the people to the dignity of children of God made in His image. The heart of a Claritian is restless when people live in conditions that diminish the dignity of God's image in them. We therefore take concrete actions to give better living standards to the people we serve. We create projects and look for benefactors who can help us bring light to the peripheries where electricity is not yet available. We build schools to enlighten 
the children because it is a way of assuring a better tomorrow. Youth empowerment is very important because they have so much energy and once they are not empowered, they begin to use the energy in the wrong way. So I think it's a very good project and uh, we encourage them to continue in that direction, to give hope, to give direction to the youths because we need them and that's what our world depends on. We bring light and hope into the hearts of young people through the Claret Youth Training Center. We have a center which welcomes these internally displaced youths and provides them with some basic formation to help them become job creators and not job seekers. The ongoing socio-political crisis in our country has made us to think of creative ways of responding to the needs of youth in our country. Many young people lost hope and they thought that they could not gain anything for their future. But the Claritian missionaries in Cameroon thought it wise to make this youth training center where youth could learn how to use their hands, how to develop skills, how to become entrepreneurs. And that's why this idea came up. And here in this center, this is the carpentry department. And our way of responding to the needs in this periphery is to train the youths how to use their hands, how to transform the wood into very necessary things like beds, like dining tables, like uh, drawers, and many good things they can use in their households. So what is very special in this center is that we are working with internally displaced youths. Internally displaced youths because of the ongoing socio-political crisis in the Northwest and the Southwest regions of our country. Douala, especially Bonaberry, is bordering the southwest region of our country. Since 2016, the southwest region of our country has been suffering from the ongoing socio-political crisis. So many young people flew into Douala and they fell into juvenile delinquency. So many of them fell into drugs. So many of them fell into banditism. And Claritian missionaries could not cover their eyes to this. And that's why we sent one of us to be trained in carpentry. He went to the university, he developed the skills, and now he's working with other youths and telling the youth there is hope. And Claritians bring hope, Claritians bring smile to people, telling them that they can use their hands, they can use their technical know-how to transform nature into a habitat, to transform nature into places where they can live. And that's what we are doing here. Claret Youth Training Center is the place to be, transforming peripheries into places where everyone can stay. Come and work with us to make Claret Youth Training Center a place to be. These youths spread the flame of love by training others. I see a lot of enthusiasm. We have young men with uh, dreams. And this is the time to work towards that dream together. Not just Claritians alone, but to help the people so that this will be our church, our country, our continent. In the heart of the socio-political crisis in our country, Claritian missionaries remained by the people. Even after some of our brothers were kidnapped and tortured, we did not abandon the mission. We keep working with the people, taking care of their spiritual needs and trying to raise their standards of life. We save the youths and children from war through education. When the war started, we were in Bamenda, but I had to move to Yaoundé because we didn't have school. Students were stranded. I want to thank the Clarations for giving us the opportunity once again to be students. We are very grateful for this opportunity. It came to serve a very serious need we had. It's really a privilege to belong to the school. It was such a pathetic situation before this institution existed. Many of our young people were almost going astray due to the 
uh, socio-political crisis in our region. Most of us who were schooling out of the region, we had to come back because the life out there wasn't bearable for us. I want to encourage them to continue the good work they have done for us. I love the school very much because we have good teachers. They provide us with what we need. And I thank the benefactors of the school very much for providing us with this institution. We are not just giving them academic formation. We are giving a sound, moral, Catholic education. The effort declarations are making is very encouraging. We offer opportunities to less privileged children to go to school through scholarship programs. The physical challenge and the refugees find a place in our hearts. We bring them the light of Christ by making programs in their favor. After 175 years of our existence as a missionary congregation and 54 years of our presence in Cameroon, we want to continue to be the light of the world and the soul of the earth. We wish to pass on the flame to spread the good news to all, especially in the existential peripheries of humanity and above all, to set the world on fire with God's love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you.